It is a privilege to be joined today on the summit by Coach Becky Mullis at College of the Ozarks. The women's basketball team won the 2023 NCCAA Women's Division I Championship this past week. Coach, congratulations on the win. I, I want to give you an opportunity to talk about that championship. A big win, 86-63 over Oakland City. It was a battle of the top two seeds in the tournament, and you all came out on top. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. It was a fun tournament, and uh, we're blessed to um, – come out on top. Thank you. Talk about the game as a whole for the tournament run, uh, three games in Winona Lake uh, at the host side of, of, of Grace. Uh, you all came from behind from a halftime deficit in the first two games. You really got out and, and took this one on through another big third quarter as well, putting up 28 points in that third quarter. You all have proven to be a second half team. Yeah, I guess I need to give my halftime speech at the beginning of the game or try to I don't, I, I don't know why, why it happened that way. Um, I think I've got a lot of, we have a, several thinkers on our team and they want to feel everybody out and then, and then go for it is all I can figure out. Um, but um, yes, we were behind double digits in the first two rounds. Um, and then the, the, the last game we came out and played a little better in the first half and didn't have a big deficit to overcome like we did in the first two games. Coach Jordan Worsinger, who was named the tournament most outstanding player, uh, another good effort for your team in that championship game, 24 points, and she was averaging 16 points a game, two and a half assists per game coming in anyway, a 20-point production in that semi, and, and uh, rightfully receiving the honor, not only the all-tournament team, but the tournament's most outstanding player. Well, she's a gamer. The bigger the game, the better that she plays. Um, she was just really efficient the entire tournament. Um, shot a high percentage all three games. Um, I thought she really played within herself. She let the game come to her and um, made this good decision shooting wise, um, had some great passes. And then she, uh, we also can't forget that she uh, guarded the other team's best guard um, uh, in that championship game and, and did a great job on her. So it wasn't just on the offensive end, it was the defensive end as well. And I know that's important. She's had a lot of career honors there too, and being able to put a national championship with that as well, I'm I'm sure uh, makes all of you all proud. Uh, Kaylee Frank, also a member of that all-tournament team, she had a double-double in the championship game, 20 points and 11 boards to lead the way. Well, she's been a double-double machine all year. She's a uh, She's our leading scorer, uh, has been all year, a great rebounder. She's so diverse. She can shoot the three. She can bang inside. She can shoot the mid-range. Um, great free throw shooter. Uh, just a, a really solid player. Um, and she's led us all year. And she's just tough as nails. I mean, she bangs and she does bangs around and she doesn't back away from anyone. Um, so she's a, a great player for us and well-deserving of, of the all-tournament team as well. We're speaking now with Coach Becky Mullis from Car College of the Ozarks here on Midwest Sports Net, and I encourage you, please continue to enjoy the videos here. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Coach, in your 10th season with the program, this year has to be a, another strong year, and, and looking back uh, on the year, right now, you all are on a 17-game winning streak that you take into next season. You all haven't even lost in this calendar year as the, the win streak goes back to last semester. Again, 17 straight wins. That's a nice way to close out the season. It is, and honestly, we didn't really talk about it. It was just we have a one game at a, at a time approach, and you know, win one and then win one, and then focus on the next one. So I didn't, we didn't really get caught up in that. Um, it's just the expectation here is to win, and um, so I, I wouldn't say we take it for granted, but it's just how we do things here, and um, we try to be humble and figure out ways that we can still get better, even if we're winning. Um, try to find ways to get better. So I felt like our team did a really good job of staying focused and going and doing the one game at a time approach. And we great great leaders um, who bought, who bought into that and buy into it, and they helped as well. So it definitely was a team effort, and I'm very proud of all of them. The Bobcats finished the season twenty six and five for twenty two twenty three. Coach, in your 10th year there and, and uh, wrapping up a, a decade at the helm there, 21 seasons all the way through, postseason runs all the way through in the NAI and the NCCAA. Uh, talk about the consistency then that goes into that as this was another one that, that fit that mold 
20 plus wins, another postseason run. Uh, what what goes into how you lead the program and, and what do you see is a determinant factor for this consistency? Well, first you have to have great, great players and we do, and we have a great tradition here. Um, so I was the assistant for 11 years uh, prior to being um, named head coach when our, when our former coach retired. And so it, it goes back way before me. Um, that was, it's just how we do things here with Ozarks women's basketball. We, we recruit good players and the expectation is that we're going to win and we are going to do it the right way. And we're going to go to postseason, And that's, really the only option. I mean, and so I think tradition helps a lot and our older players do a great job of teaching the younger ones. And then when those younger ones become our leaders and they teach the younger ones. So it is a domino effect. Um, and I'm just helping to continue it. But, you know, Coach Wilson was my mentor and I coached with him and played for him. Um, and it even happened before him. There, it, The program was was really successful then, but he really went on a run in his um, his 16 seasons here. And then I um, have done my best to continue it, but it all comes down to players and buy-in. And um, fortunate for us, we've had players who who buy in year in and year out and kids that come here knowing what the expectation is and they buy in as well. So um, it really is, it's a, a program effort and it takes good players on and off the floor. Um, it, it takes really unselfish players. Uh, for example, in our championship game, I think we had 29 made shots and we had 21 assists on those 29 made shots. And that's really unheard of. Um, and so I just feel like we we have a solid team year in and year out because we get the right kind of kids who want to win, who are unselfish and um, want to be part of something special. By the way, that's an incredible stat. If, if uh, Neary... 75% of your baskets <laughs> are direct yeah. results of assists like that. That's incredible. Well, Coach, you talk about tradition. You get to add something else, too, as a, uh, an NCCAA national championship is in the books with that, too, something else to, to put in the trophy case and on the wall there. Uh, for this season, another one that's in the books now, you've had a little bit of time to look back. What do you take away from this year and, and this particular group? Well, I see the 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 – vast improvement that we did at the beginning of the year. We we played a very tough schedule and early season we were on the road. Um, I think at one point we played like six games in nine days and um, all NAIA teams um, and we were really tired. Um, we were turning the ball over a lot. Um, we didn't play off each other that well. And so I see the progress that we made offensively taking care of the basketball, running better motion and playing off of each other. And that just took, I mean, it, it takes time. Every year it takes time. And this year was no exception. Um, defensively, I just, I, I see how we, we couldn't guard one-on-one -on -one at all. I mean, people were driving us to the basket and, and we just went to work on it every day. We, we worked on closeouts and guarding one-on-one -on -one and the kids got in, bought in and got better. And so I see, huge improvements from the beginning of the year till now, um, lots of confidence. And um, so I'm really proud of them. And they just, they went to work. We, we identified the areas that we needed to do to get better. And it wasn't like we started off poor or anything. I mean, we, we had a great start to the season, but we just knew if we wanted to uh, win the championship, that there were areas that we had to improve. And I feel like we did that. Well, and, and the results look that way on paper as well. Again, 17 straight wins to close out the season, culminating in a national championship. Uh, Coach, congratulations on the year, and uh, I'm sure it has been a fun year for you, and uh, looks like that uh, with that consistency, there is more on the way to Point Lookout. Coach Becky Mullis, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. We appreciate that and, and uh, look forward to, to getting to follow the program more. Thank you, sir. I appreciate um, you having me on. It was, it was great. Thank you.